Hey everybody, this is Gregory from Dappy Diversity. So in this video, we're going to finish out this to-do list tutorial that we've been working on in this mini-series. So be sure to check out the previous videos if you haven't already. And also, you know, as always, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And, you know, click the like button down below. That really helps these videos get found. And if you want to, you know, download some of my other courses for free, you can do that on my website over at dappydiversity.com forward slash free download. All right, so let's finish off this application. So what we've done so far is, you know, built this React application that talks to smart contracts on the blockchain. And, you know, we've basically refactored this to-do list um, that we built out in a previous video series. So right now we can basically list out all the tasks from the smart contract. We can add a new task. And um, now we want to actually toggle these tasks as completed. We want to check a task off the list. So there are a few th steps that we need to do to make that happen. We'll go back to our um, to-do list uh, component inside of React. And basically, we want to add some logic to this checkbox to make it work and talk to the blockchain. And it's actually several steps that we need to do. So the first thing is to actually um, you know, do something whenever this checkbox is clicked. Okay. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to go over here and basically add an on click handler. So whenever this is clicked, let's just log this out to the console first. We'll say on click. Now, we do that like this. We can actually just pass on click inside of, um, basically like as a as an HTML attribute inside this component, uh, sorry, inside this element. And we can pass this a function um, where we can basically log the event. And we'll just say console log checkbox clicked. All right, I'll go to the uh, browser and see that. So click that. All right, check block was clicked. So now we can actually do something here. What we're going to do is take the value of this checkbox right here and pass it to the smart contract. All right, so we want to get that value. But how do we do that? Well, in the previous uh, video, we did that with the same thing with the form. Basically, we submitted the form on submit just like this on click uh, handler. And we passed in the event and we, you know, called this create task function that was created inside of our uh, app.js component. But we had to actually get this value from the form in order to, uh, you know, pass the value in. So we did that with this.task.value in the last video. So how did we get that? Well, if you remember, we used this thing called refs, where we said uh, ref here inside of the new task element. This was the check, uh, sorry, the text input. We just think of a ref to take the input from the text input and assign it to this.task. We basically just said this.task equals the input here inside this ref. And whenever we submitted the form, we said this.task.value, which was a reference to this. And we could pass that into our function here that was passed in with props. So I'll, you know, I'll show you that more with the checkbox implementation, but it's basically the same idea as the form submission. So while we're here, I'm actually going to re refactor this a little bit, make this a little more readable. We'll do the same thing with our, um, let's do this. Let's do this as two. We'll do the same thing with the checkbox. All right. That basically just makes these a little more readable. And if you're working like with a team or something like that, this also works a lot better with git diff markings and things like that. So um, I do this whenever you start getting kind of long. Maybe I just put them in a vertical formatting like this so that it's easier to read. Uh, you can add more functions, which we'll do here. So I'll do that same thing here. And I'll make this a multi-line arrow function. Actually, just leave that there. So now we're going to add refs to this, and that's why I broke these lines up. So I'll say ref equals uh, input, and we'll say, oops, uh, this dot checkbox equals input. Okay. So now let's um, actually log the checkbox here. Let's say checkbox. Oops, checkbox is not defined. Say so this dot checkbox. All right, so let's click it. All right, so we can see the checkbox here. 
So now we need to actually pull the task ID from the checkbox whenever we click it, okay? So what we want to do is create a function from the smart contract. Um, if you remember, our, our smart contract has a function called, you know, toggle completed, and we need the task ID in order to do that. So what we'll do is whenever we list these tasks out right here, we'll actually pass in the task ID. So we'll say, um, we'll, pa we'll, we'll bind it to the checkbox. We'll, we'll say the checkbox name is equal to the task ID. So we'll say name equals, um, let's see, task, oops, ID. All right. So now let's do this. And we can see here that the task ID is getting set to the checkbox name. And now we can pull the name off the checkbox attribute in order to pass the task ID into our function. So now we can say checkbox, uh, I'll say task ID. And we say this.checkbox.name. All right, so let's try that. Boom, there we go. So we can see the task ID, and that's what we need to pass into the function. All right, so now we need to basically take this ID and pass it into the function so that it can talk to the smart contract. We need to do the same kind of thing we did with uh, this form on submit, this props create task. And if you remember, you know, create task is nowhere inside this file. We had to pass it in with props. So that was created inside of our app.js component, so we need to do it up there. All right, so here was the create task function inside the app.js component. If you remember, we, uh, you know, did this, this is what talks to the blockchain. We passed it in here to this uh, child component, to the to-do list right here. And you know we also had to bind it to this inside the constructor uh, for it to work. All right, so we'll do a similar kind of thing. I'm actually just gonna copy this, paste it, make our lives a little easier. So we'll make the state loading and false again. So basically, whenever we start calling the function, we'll show the loader whenever the uh, receipt was generated, we'll stop loading, okay? All right, so now, instead of this uh, create task, we'll say toggle completed, and instead of passing in the content, we're gonna pass in the task ID, all right? And we're gonna send it from this account, and whenever it's finished, we'll stop loading, okay? So now we need to pass this into the component, and we'll do new line. We'll say uh, toggle completed equals this dot toggle completed. All right. So now inside of here, we'll say we should have everything we need actually. But before we do that, we want to we want to track the uh, state of the checkbox. So now. This checkbox doesn't know whether it needs to be checked or not um, whenever the task is completed. Well, let's actually just try to submit it first. We'll come back and do that in a second. So just refresh just for good measure. Um, and we can see that this task is here. Let's try to check it and see if it works. All right, so we're still logging this. I didn't see um, MetaMask pop up. Something's wrong. We'll see here. So inside of here, Okay, we're just logging this. We need to actually call create task. I forgot to do that. So we passed in create task, or sorry, toggle completed, but we didn't call it yet. So let's do this. Um, we'll just pull this back and we'll say uh, this props create, no, sorry, toggle completed. All right, save that. Okay, so we just got some warnings down here. We'll clean these up in a second. All right, so we have an error. What happened? So there's one gotcha. Um, this happens to me a lot. So basically, we forgot to bind this function uh, to this. So we did that in the constructor for this dot create task. But we also want to do that for this dot toggle completed. So let's do that here. Toggle completed, bind to this. All right. And I also forgot to call this toggle completed. Sorry about that. All right, let's try that again. Now let's see if it works. All right, see a MetaMask notification. Click confirm. All right, so I got a uh, confirmation inside my MetaMask, which you can't see because it's off screen, 
but it worked. And how do we know it worked? We don't see a, we don't see a check checkbox here. Well, now we actually need to track the state of the checkbox. So we can do that inside of uh, this input. We can say basically, uh, let's see, default checked. This will show the default state of the checkbox. We can say this, or sorry, task dot completed. So this task is here. We can just get its completed state. And let's go to our browser and see. All right, it looks like it worked. So that is the last step, guys. That's the last uh, part of this refactor for this to-do list in React.js. There's a lot more you could do with this. You could build off this, you know, go crazy. Um, but this gives you an idea of, you know, how to use React for your dApps. Um, you know, this is it's a really valuable skill set to have uh, as a blockchain developer, especially with Ethereum. And I wanted to show you all the, how to do this in order to kind of get started on your own and, you know, leverage this technology because it's really popular among DAP developers. So if you all like this mini series, again, if you want to download my courses for free, you can do that on my website over at dapuniversity.com forward slash free download. As always, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the thumbs up button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.